And now, The Wizard of Oz continues on the WB's Big Sunday. The Cowardly Lion, he was my favorite. Put him on. I always felt so sorry for him. I was on to rescue him. The scarecrow, he's all wobbly. They're having a good time, and they're bouncing around, having fun. The Tin Man, or the Lion, they're each on their own quest that kind of tells their own story. Just before they meet the Lion, and they're, you know, they're all arm in arm, and they're skipping down the Elvick Road, and they're singing. I took my cat in one arm, and, like, my brother in the other. They make you laugh, and... You know, they, you feel for them, too. No matter how many times you watch it, you still aren't sure if they're going to reach their goal and, and get what they really want. Bert Lars' performance is one of the great comic performances uh, on film. How long can you stay fresh in that can? <laughs> My favorite scene is the lion singing if I was the king of Taurus. If I were king... It's one of the great musical scenes in, in movie history. I just like when the lion's like all sad and... I'm still scared. This other metaphor that's done comically is that, you know, being heroic has nothing to do with not feeling fear. It's about overcoming the fear. Well... I don't have a lot of courage. I had to do this thing. I didn't think I could, I could do it. And then somehow you find it. The lion, he comes through at the end and he gains courage. The Wizard of Oz will continue on the WB's Big Sunday. Brought to you by Campbell's Soup. Mm-mm, good. And now, The Wizard of Oz continues on the WB's Big Sunday. I just remember that hollow voice and it sounded so scary and so powerful. Who are you? I am the great and powerful Oz. I am the great and powerful Oz. He needs this big, mean voice and this big, mean face to tell people he's in charge. I am Oz. Instead of just, you know, being up front about his little self.